Um, good morning. It's Thursday, the tenth <coughs> of um, March. Um, it's been a quite a bit, although I said uh, in the last post, which was I think a week ago, that I will be back a little bit sooner. But yeah, it's 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 kind of <laughs> it is what it is. Um, definitely, it's it's kind of a more complicated for me to to do this. Um, daily or more frequently than I realize too uh, but but yeah I will I will try to keep them coming uh, the next week I will be actually gone again for almost uh, for over a week so that's <laughs> they won't be coming that much but uh, but yeah anytime I will find a moment you know I will I will try to try to do one of these updates uh, to at least kind of share my thoughts when 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 the market will be also interesting because what I what I realized last week when I tried to do this daily was that you know not every day is something that is worth kind of talking about for 10, 10 minutes so so anytime there will be something you know worth mentioning that I think you know I will I will make one of these videos so first of all you know Bitcoin overnight pullback uh the trading wise this this week is is quite annoying because obviously both of these moves happen during asia session when, I, when i'm you know asleep so so i'm not having much of this you know i i played some some long which i closed uh on uh on tuesday and then i also bought a kind of a spot position which i which i posted on twitter which currently is around uh, a little bit above water but it's nothing to run home about as we made this kind of pullback so um, obviously if you take a look at the daily this is not not kind of your, your best thing you want to see obviously anytime market makes a move you want to see uh, some sort of acceptance you know when you when you push on one day and then you retrace the whole move the the right after that it's it's not the biggest sign of a bullishness what we did though overnight is that we took out this open if you were watching the stream yesterday which i did on twitch um i was talking about this is the low of course let me just fix this a little bit the open how we had this kind of a open drive day and we took that okay so this that's that's kind of a good sign of of what i wanted to see because if you're gonna take a look on a lower time frames you know you have this kind of a t-wap uh that basically caused the move so most people what they tend to do when they see something like this is obviously they uh see you know level of sr they will go and place their bits you know here somewhere at the kind of this breakout point uh, but when you have this kind of a t-web move which which started it you know it's more likely to squeeze it you know lower so so this is kind of one of those things that then i've been talking about but so far you know there has been not much of a strength you know there is a lot of selling coming to the downside if you take a look on a footprint but obviously they, that doesn't have to mean anything since you know you also need a need buyers to <laughs> to kind of take advantage of it you know uh, this is one of those things that people often see when it comes to the order flow you know they see a lot of selling coming into the market uh, and they immediately assume that you know it's it's too much aggression and the market will move up well market can go easily continue down if if there are no you know buyers to take advantage of this selling so so this by itself doesn't mean much uh, to me at least you have this h4 large selling bar you know which is something that happened here as well so that, that's usually a great sign of of kind of a possible reversal so what is important though for me at least today is that in uh, around five around six hours basically from now uh we have a ecb and cpi you know uh there will be i think quite a bit of volatility i i've read read something about these being already priced in uh but still you know it's 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 one of those things with these high impact news that it's it's kind of a 
good thing to just sit it out if you if you have no um, outright bias. So what I would do for today it's it's fairly simple I think. Um, obviously we still can read this. Uh, or so far, although I don't like how how market pulled back into this, this quickly I am still kind of a working with the idea that this will continue higher obviously um i don't have any any kind of a clean clean level to go short so you know as long as i'm kind of concerned this is just a retest of this consolidation if you take a look on a tpo chart and we will merge these last four days together uh let me actually do it like this and <clears throat> this will kind of give you the entries as well how I would actually execute it so let us say POC or the red whatever um, we are kind of a you can see how we got in and now we are sitting uh, at the value area high well um, considering you know this is I don't know I don't I didn't have any any kind of limit orders obviously if you are buying uh, a lot of people I think see this kind of a rejection and just buy into that uh, personally once again this is not something that I I wanted to do uh, there is there are also these kind of higher lows which which can be a little bit of weakness and there is also this these yellow bars you know these are your low volume kind of bars which you can see they they very often get filled, you know, these are kind of these inefficiencies that um, that basically tend to get filled. So how I would play this one is um, basically if we would pull back down again, you know, make one more leg down and then kind of start to uh, build any kind of bottoming formation on a 30 minute chart you know basically take down the slow um, once again then break above the high and um, then kind of make any sort of retest into this point of control or even this value area high um, would be great getting kind of confluence for me uh, what is worth to looking at here is that this kind of a pause in price here but overall this this consolidation here would be the target for kind of intraday uh, you know short term swing long uh, as as my spot position in concern this is still looking okay um, basically how I would get out from from that spot rate is if we would break this level basically you know and kind of show that we are not going to just take out these lows because uh, <clears throat> there was this there was this h4 jesus this is not what i wanted to do there was this h4 double bottom you know this was last week's low basically which we traded below but we still kind of left this uh you know double lows and this is also kind of a no excess low on this h4 chart so um it's doesn't look too impossible that we will we will trade below these lows again but obviously the reaction should be kind of fast for me to hold any <clears throat> any long bias basically you know it's um yeah but in case this is the basically case for um for my spot and how i would look to get along today um the opposite side would be obviously that's kind of hard to do, you know, because obviously if I would want to go short here, um, you know, if, if you will, if you think that, you know, this is basically it and we will continue lower and you want to go short, obviously, where is kind of your uh, invalidation, you know, I would at least put my stop above these highs, for example, which is considering quite wide that, you know, your first target is something around here so although like i said you know this is not looking too hot now because we didn't really show any kind of a proper acceptance you know making a move on one day and then completely re re retracing it on a second day is not um 
the best thing you want to see in any kind of healthy healthy move but uh yeah it's still it's still one of those things that we are just kind of testing this if you if you are going to be really specific you know these high volume candles basically if you take a look at them you know you have one here basically anytime there is there is kind of a influx of volume in the market and market clearly reacts from these levels you know they tend to act as as kind of support and resistance you know obviously this is uh too kind of a wide of an example but you know you can see basically what i mean by that so i am still assuming that we are working with this kind of a level uh of of you know high influx of volume that should hold the price uh to go lower obviously if we are going to break below it completely um close below this you know below these lows basically then i think this is kind of done for and we are going to towards this 28k area which which would be then kind of finishing this weekly move i i spoke about in prior videos you know that we might go all the way down here to this double bottom but so far like i said you know it, it, this is kind of a overall this hasn't been a a easy week to trade definitely and this is not once again a uh easy situation because considering you know the how i trade and the things that i look at obviously i'm uh i'm having this kind of a bullish bias but i have seen these things happen you know quite a few times now to to kind of have this feeling that this is not this is not looking well but you know i just i just kind of will have to wait and 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 see how how it's going to play out obviously uh like i said i'm staying flat until the cpi which is in a couple of hours because obviously there will be some some influx of volume but yeah after that we'll just have to wait and see so yeah thank thanks for your attention and i will try to keep keep them coming